Hi, I'm Jason Rahm. Welcome to Dev Central. And in this episode of Lightboard Lessons, we're going to talk about the Internal Virtual Server, or IVS. And the IVS was introduced in 11.3, and its benefit is that it allows you to have a way to reach out to external services in a more supported way than using sideband connections. Sideband connections are totally possible still, uh, but if you have external services that, that run on the HTTP protocol, uh, internal virtual server is the way to go. And uh, the, the standard kind of way that, that it's done is using the ICAP protocol. Uh, you don't need to have the ICAP protocol on the internal virtual server, but, uh, but we do have ICAP profiles to be able to support that. And uh, in order to use the internal virtual server, you need to use a request adapt or response adapt profiles. And then with, uh, with both of those, you also need an HTTP profile. And this goes on your outside VIP. And then uh, on your internal VIP, you can use uh, ICAP profiles or you can just use iRules or uh, you know, uh, whatever uh, protocol that, that you uh, want to uh, be able to manipulate, uh, you can do that. And uh, again, it was introduced in 11.3. And uh, the way that, uh, or the reason you would use this for external services are things like uh, if you want to do uh, content filtering, so you want to prevent some websites, uh, AV scanning. Uh, another one is uh, uh, adaption. So like a video adaption. And then, uh, of course, you can do uh, things like ad insertion as well. And so how this works is I will draw, um, let's see, we'll draw a client coming into, and we'll draw the big IP a little bigger this time. And then you have your standard servers. So you got your web servers there, and you got your client, you have your big IP here. And then this is your, your main virtual server here. And then for using your internal virtual servers, uh, the great thing about this is you can do different internal virtual servers on the request event than you uh, can do on the response event. And so we'll put a, a request VIP and then a response VIP. And then we'll put down some servers down here. And in this case, maybe we want to do AV scanning on the way in, and then maybe we want to do some uh, ad insertion on the way out. So we'll have two separate sets of servers here. So to work on the flow, let's use our green marker here. And so your request comes in to the primary VIP, and if there is a reason to send it off so it's matching a particular URL or something, it'll come here. If there's not a match, this VIP still has the web servers and can send it on and, and it'll work as normal with this primary VIP. But if there's uh, some kind of a match and you want to send it off to your internal virtual server, well, that comes down here to this virtual server and then it hands off to these ICAP servers. And again, it doesn't have to be ICAP, but we'll, we'll say that these are ICAP servers and it's gonna do some scanning and uh, say it's okay. We're gonna pass that request on through and that comes back up to the uh, request VIP, which then comes back up to your primary VIP and then hands back off to your web servers. And then web server does what it needs to do with the request and it sends a response. And at this point, again, this VIP can just send it back to the client or if it's matching a particular pattern coming back from the web server, then it can hand back here to the response VIP, which is internal. And then it'll hand back to these ICAP servers. And it's gonna do an add insertion. And so we'll come back up here to the internal VIP, which then will hand off to your primary VIP, and then it'll send that back to the client. And so that's basically the, the workflow. Now you could have just request or you could have just response. 
or you can do both on any particular request and, and you know that's up to you and, and what your needs are. And these can be the same servers, they can be purpose-built servers. Uh, a lot of people will like to deploy uh, very purpose-built uh, servers so that th this does one external service and this does another external server how service. But however, you don't have to do that. You can have your ICAP servers do all that. But the, the primary reason this exists at all is to take the load from here, from, from these web servers that would maybe traditionally do AV and, uh, and add insertion and all those other things. And it's taking these services and it's offloading it to this layer so that the web servers can do what they're built to do and the ICAP servers can do what they're built to do and everything does uh, what's most optimal to be able to get your clients served in the best way possible. And so hopefully this has been helpful to what an uh, internal virtual server is and how it works. And uh, internal virtual servers are, are not listening on, on anything. They won't listen on any VLANs. You have to uh, configure the request and response adapter, uh, adaption profiles in order for uh, these to receive traffic. So uh, thanks and, and we'll see you out there in the community.